The final handicap trial then is the mile and a half older horse handicap. And the top one is Kangas Del Narcia for Darren Thompson. Belladonna, Joshua Sutherland, Convertaser, Diagnosis for Andy Morgan, Bloodstone, Leon Van Rensburg, Ivan Drago, Paul Rhodes, Task Analysis, Him, Stormy Willow, See Bet with Wu Wei, Roscoe, Vinny Gerard, Perfection, Paul O'Neill, Humor Dagar, Martin Leland, Puissance, Colors, Alex Cherry, Danny Ankarad, David Ann Aspen, Ridge, Derek Hinton, and Abdicate, Obi Wan. 14 of the men are at Epsom this time. And. Humor Dagar, the great closest to us. Away they go then. Uh, once again, Aspen Ridge a little bit slow to go for Derek Hinton, but they're sorting themselves out and racing uphill now then. And Stormy Willow and Bella Donna are probably going to dispute the lead with Puissance Colors on their inside. They're going to get over to get that rail. So Puissance Colors then on the inside of the rail, but just being shaded by Bella Donna at the moment. Those two are a couple of lengths clear of Task Analysis, Danny Angerad and Stormy Willow. Woo Wai Roscoe is also pretty close up with Grey. Humor Dagar is closest to us and towards the back perfection is just about the back marker. The level weights winner Kangas Del Narcia is also nearer the back than the front. As they cross the little road there then. And with nine furlongs still to race, Bella Donna by half a length to Puissance Colours on the inside second. Gap of about two lengths then back to Aspen Ridge in that pink and black jacket who's made up for that tardy start. Then comes Task analysis and Danny Ankarad. Bloodstone is also close up. Wu Wai Roscoe and Ivan Drago. Then Combatasa Diagnosis and Human Dagar. And then Abdicate and Kangas Del Narcia. Stormy Willow and finally Perfection. Racing past the seven. Then there with Belladonna. Still half a length clear of Puissance Colours in second. Gap back to Aspen Ridge and Task Analysis. The field is pretty tightly packed with the exception of the front two and the back one. And Belladonna by half a length to Puissance Colours in second. Those two have been one and two throughout then. Um, and Aspen Ridge is in third, also creeping through there now. Bloodstone also being pushed along his Convertaser diagnosis. That one's got a good split and he's now absolutely cruising up to join the leading pair. And he's going to come to take it up, I think. It's Convertaser diagnosis, but suddenly stops. And now Puissance Colours goes on. It's Puissance Colours from about a neck from Convertaser diagnosis in second. Then Belladonna. Then Danny Angrad and Bloodstone. Humor Dagar is the one having to run really wide. Abdicate is the one struggling out the back. But the field is now really tightly packed as they race towards the final three furlongs and Belladonna who'd been given a bit of a breather is now back in front being pressed though by Combatasa Diagnosis Puissance Colours is still trying to go, to go along well Perfection is coming through out of the pack anybody could win this at this stage it's Combatasa Diagnosis past the two with a head lead to Belladonna in second Perfection is going to look for a perfect split between the two of them as they race past the big screen then it's Combatasa Diagnosis Belladonna Perfection also coming to run now Congress Del Narcia they've got half a furlong to go and it's Combatasa Diagnosis but now being collared by Perfection Perfection from Belladonna Belladonna's beginning to get up on the inside, Belladonna's probably just going to take it, finishing really fast his bloodstone, but Belladonna just about took it, and that was another thrilling finish, with plenty of chances again, Combatazer diagnosis came through, like he was going to take the race comfortably at one point, but Belladonna fought back, perfection also got a good split, real good finish there, you could chuck a blanket over the first ten probably, and that's Joshua Sutherland got a winner, let's so we'll take a look at the connections for this final trial race. Belladonna for Joshua Sutherland, the winner. Bloodstone for Leon van Rensburg, second. Perfection, Paul O'Neill was third. Combatazer diagnosis for Andy Morgan was fourth. And Ivan Drago for Paul Rose was fifth. So, all in all, that's a pretty decent sort of start. I think we've got some good handicap finishes there.